you all had a happy Thanksgiving, didn't eat too much. We wanted to talk about something that is very special, and that is for children. We have noticed that even in creation material, there isn't much for elementary age children. So we decided to design a 52-week creation devotional, and it is focused around Proverbs 22.6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. That is a true statement. Yes, it's very important that our children do learn the Bible. What we've done is created a 52-week devotional. It's actually MP3 files. You can play them in your car or on the computer. And they're designed so that in one year, your child or children will learn 52 scripture verses that pertain in some way to creation. It's not just Genesis. Right, all the way through to Revelation. Exactly. This 52-week creation devotional is actually quite an amazing thing. We've had a number of uh, very, very positive responses from people who have, have gotten it. It was written by, by Dana, but it was it's read by Paul, our son. And it's very interactive. Here is an example of the lesson in week 33. Week 33, Romans 1, 20. For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky. Through everything God made, they can see clearly His invisible qualities, His eternal power, and divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing God. Lesson 33. Because of the beauty and complexity of everything around us, including plants, animals, people, the ground, and the sky, no one has an excuse to deny that there was a Creator. The Creator is the God of the Bible, and His name is Jesus. We are not to worship nature, but we are to worship the one whose divine nature is on display in all that we see, smell, hear, touch, and taste. Question number one. Everything we see in creation points to whom? God. Question two. Does anyone have an excuse not to believe in God? No. Memory verse. Romans 1, verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. It really is a fun and engaging way to get the Word of God into any young person, including yours. In one year, he or she will have learned 52 verses with a caveat. You if, have to do it. If they do it. You know, interesting, we had a fellow uh, let us know that he bought several of these for gifts to give to people, and he gave them out, and they kept one for their children. And many, many weeks went by, and he ran into one of the fellows that he had given one of them to and asked how the children are doing, if they learn anything. They said, no. He said, well, what do, what do you mean? He said, well, what are your kids doing? And I don't remember the exact number. It was like, you know, our children have learned 17 verses already or something to that effect. The guy said, really? How's that? <laughs> and the first fellow said, you know the difference between you and us? We're actually doing it. You actually have to have the child do it. It won't really do much good sitting on a dresser somewhere. Right, or lost in a stack on your desk. You have to <laughs> right. get it out. And actually, some churches are using it as the intro, I guess you could say, or the preliminaries for their Sunday school lessons. Yes. It has a variety of, of uses. And it really we, is interactive, and it's fun and engaging, and the kids do enjoy it. One lady, she bought it for her Christian school, and she says, We are loving it. We're doing a creation wheel craft with this week's lesson. They love it. Thank you so much. We have to put forth some effort. The parents are responsible for putting the Word of God into the young children, and this is just a great tool. One time, a lady asked, is there a book that goes with it? And I said, absolutely. It's called the Bible. America's research group did a study, and they found that we're losing our children in our churches today. And one of the earliest times that people tend to have doubts, they ask, ask them a question, when did you first have doubts about the Bible. The answer is amazing. 45% said in middle school. That's amazing. So we need to get some good information, good Bible into our children before that time. Right. In elementary school age, Disney knows it. Absolutely. The they evolutionists do. know it. Absolutely. They do. And we need to know that we should do that. We need to instill the word of God. And this is just a great way. It could even be your family's devotional, even though it is geared for young people. I Everybody would, can learn the verse. I would dare say <laughs> there's a lot of really good information. Like, does God control the weather? Just a lot of things are brought out from a science perspective, a creation science perspective that maybe you haven't thought about it when you have learned verses or read verses, but it is important to put the Word of God in our children's hearts 
and in hours. And again, each of the lessons and activities take less than three minutes, and you can listen at home or in the car on the way to school, and it's easy and it's fun. And it's specifically designed for those children 6 to 12 years old. It's great for the entire family with 52 lessons and 52 activities, only a three-minute time frame. Not long. No, but the child does need to practice their memory verse during the week. There is a memory verse included. Here is an example of one of the activities and how that portion of the devotional works. Now for this week's activity, open your Bible and follow along. Exodus 20:11. Question 1. Where is this passage of scripture found? In the middle of the 10 commandments. Question 2. How many days did it take the Lord to make everything? 6. Question 3. What did God do on the 7th day? He rested. It's time for you to answer the questions. Question 1. Where is this passage of scripture found? Question 2. How many days did it take the Lord to make everything? Question 3. What did God do on the seventh day? Now let's practice the memory verse. Exodus 20, verse 11. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day, wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Okay, now let's read the verse together. Exodus 20, verse 11. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day, wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Take some time each day this week to practice your memory verse, and we'll pick up where we left off next week. They're $20 each, $18 for two, and $15 each if you order three or more. We'll give you free shipping. We just want to help you in any way that we can to instill the Word of God in your children and specifically on the topic of creation because that is what is so dear to our heart. And after all, Christmas is coming up. Toys are fun, but we need to give our kids more than just toys. These make great Christmas gifts. We do encourage you all to get out your Bible when you do these lessons and activities, and that way the child learns where the verses are in their own Bible and touches it with their fingers and sees where it is. And and if you allow them, mark in their Bible, and they will just be so excited to learn the Bible. That's what we have just seen over the years that children want to learn, and they want to get engaged with God's Word. It's our responsibility to make that happen. 2 Timothy 3.15 says, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. A lot of people know that verse, almost everybody, it sounds familiar at least, but it does mean what it says. And we need to do it. We hope that this will be a great tool to help you do that. Thank you.